at win number one, week number one against Jacksonville. That will be on Sunday at one o'clock and you can watch it right here on Fox. So joining us now is some insight, former NFL cornerback and local guy Kyle Arrington with his insight on how things should go. Kyle, thanks for coming in today. Appreciate oh, no, it. Thank, thanks, Steve. Thank you for having me today. And, shower, man. Oh, man, I appreciate it. You know, we all just playing for a second, man, messing with you. This, no, no, you no, 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 you're no. impressive. Listen, there's, you're always impressive. there's one model in the room right now, <laughs> and it is you. No, no, uh, no. We'll talk about your personal life in a minute, but uh, football, I mean, it's, it's that time of year. Is mm -hmm. the excitement still big for you even though you're not playing anymore when you're getting ready for opening well, week you just mentioned it it's a special time of year you know uh, weather's beautiful you know people yards starting to look good again uh, you know TGI Fridays Buffalo Wild Wings starting to fill up again <laughs> uh, husbands starting to spend a little less time with their wives you know people start to show up to work just a little more late so it can only be one thing Steve Football season is here. Football's back. <laughs> All right, so we're going to break down the uh, commanders right now for mm -hmm. the game against Jacksonville and then for the season. A lot mm. of changes. I mean, organization, a lot of changes mm -hmm. from the name on down. On the field, changes too, and it all starts with the quarterback with Carson Wentz. How do you see that going? Because we did this last year too, and the quarterback lasted half a game. So mm. injuries notwithstanding, mm -hmm. how do you see this playing out? Uh, well, I guess before we look at that, uh, that crystal ball, if you will, for 2022, we got just to put things in perspective. Now, bear with me, Steve. So in 2021, like you, you, like you just said, you lose your quarterback first game of the season. You actually suffer more. You actually suffer more injuries in half the league. Uh, you have uh, you have the, one of the hardest records, one of the toughest records in all of pro football. Managed to win seven games. Fast forward, it's 2022. You upgrade the quarterback position. You you know arguably have some of the best talent on paper this team has seen, franchise has seen in years. Conversely, have you know one of the easier schedules now in football. So you know what I. You felt that. I, I just, I I, I, I just felt that. You know what? This. I almost feel like I'm giving a State of the Union address now, right? So, <laughs> so here we go. Let, no, let, let, let's just go for it. You know, like, yes, we've experienced hard times. You know, but I'm optimistic, more optimistic than ever, that, you know, the, the, the State of the Union is this. The State of the Union is strong because of you. The Washington Commanders community and fan base is strong. What I am right, I'm hearing I'm and done. what I'm <laughs> maybe positively reading into this, this lesson of positivity, mm -hmm. um, on paper, at least, this team mm -hmm. could have a winning record. No, no, like all the potential in the world. You know, one, one thing that um, you know, I'm, I'm a little leery of, you know, last year, 2021, I know it's a new season, but third down defense, 30, 30 person in the league. I mean, that's, that's not going to get it done. Almost 50, you know, if you're opposing offense quarterback, they were at 50% a clip in terms of third down conversion. I mean, I, if you're, if you, you know, if you're a team, I, I, you like those odds. You go to Vegas with those odds, you know, so, so that's only they, they, could, they could tighten up on that third down. And I, and I think they will in the preseason, the uh, secondary look, you know, look, look strong again. Uh, Kendall Fuller looking to have a, a good season. They, they, mm -hmm. they, they need the help back there. So mm -hmm. hopefully they get the help back there. So I don't want to, I don't want to, like you said, the crystal ball, I don't want to take it too much and be like, okay, this is a, a 9, 10, 11 win team, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. What I want to know from you, from your expertise as a player, how far into the season do you know if you're going to have a good season or not? From the player perspective, if you lose three straight games, is hope gone? If you win mm -hmm. three straight games, do you carry that positivity through? Like, when do you know mm -hmm. as a player where the season might end? Uh, well, it's funny you mentioned that. I mean, you know, uh, we've always tried to take, take it by quarter, right? So you look at the, you know, the first four games, the next four games, you know, and, and, and so on. But, you know, but you have to also compartmentalize week to week. So this first week is interesting. A few interesting storylines heading, is heading into this game because both franchises, under both organizations, you know, they have uh, some you know negative off the field scandals that right. they, they'd like to uh, have more, have more pos hopefully have more positivity talk about you know the on the field play. So, but if you look at Jacksonville Jaguars over the last two seasons, you know they won what four games. Right. So uh, I mean, even if you take away 2017. They won. They haven't won more than six okay, so, games so in a decade. You can't lose this game to Jacksonville. No, 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 you can't. And, and then, so what I'm saying is, is uh, I say that to say this. Culture is important because uh, it, it's hard to change a culture overnight, especially a losing one. So if you're Washington Commanders, you, what you had to do, you had to start fast and start strong. You had to come out, get on top, get on top of them because, you know, every, everybody's a clean slate. Right, 2020, listen, 20. You've been mm -hmm. preaching nothing but positivity. Yeah. Kyle. I hope we have a lot of good things to talk about on Monday morning. Uh, in the meantime, give Kyle some love and support online. I mean, the, first of all, the dude has a Super Bowl ring from the Patriots. Congratulations on that. Uh, just had your first movie, doing some modeling and charity work. You're doing it all, my friend. Thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you for having me. I appreciate Thanks, it. Kyle Arrington, former uh, NFL defensive back in there. You see the information for Fox 5 Game Time, which we're going to do pregame. That starts at 730. This year it is Tom Fitzgerald and former Washington tight end Logan Paulson going to be joining Tom this year with the insight. That's at 730 and game time is at 1 o'clock. And Tucker, I'll let you and Kyle talk about the uh, Ravens. Yeah, I can't wait to talk to him. But uh, most importantly, uh, Steve, we got to step up our fashion game. <laughs>
No, I told him that already. Yeah, I said we're like, we're, yeah. like he's the class of the division, and we're yeah. like way in the back of the. Yeah, pack. I think he might even be taking uh, Mr. Martin down in the fashion department hey. this morning. Oh, I'm sorry, hey. is he here today? All right, let's do.